Good morning, everyone. So good morning to our Northport campus. I got to be honest with you as I get going. Um, as I was worshiping and knowing what I'm talking about today and knowing how much I need it, I just begin to break. And I got to say something. Um, as JP's bumper, uh, JP uh, is doing these trailers for us, these bumpers, and as I saw the scripture come on the screen, it just, I went, man, God, I need that today. And I, my fear oftentimes in church and real liberal people is that we come here and we do what I call check a box. <laughs> and we're so close to getting something that will change our life forever. And we miss it. Psalm 62, verses 1 and 2. We're going we're gonna to study the whole chapter, but go with me real quickly here. Psalm 62, 1 and 2. Hear the word of God today, people. This is for you. David says this, truly my soul finds rest. Can we read it together at every campus, even if you're home watching online or maybe out and about today? Read this together because it's a promise for you. Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Amen. Wait, yeah, yeah, all right. Let's, uh, that's the word of God. That's the best point you're going to hear. Oftentimes, we as Christians, because we put the rules of Christianity so heavily on people and the fact that if you're a Christian, you got to look this way, drive this way, act this way, sound this way, do this, do this, do this, do this, and we live under such condemnation that we're more stressed at trying to be a Christian than we were when we weren't a Christian. David, how long will you assault me? <laughs> Would all of you throw me down? This leaning wall? This tottering fence? Surely they intend to topple me from my lofty place. They take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but in their hearts they curse. They get in the left lane and slow down on purpose. I'm just putting Steve's David moment in there, right? My kids surely hate me because they don't obey. They do their own thing. The church surely doesn't listen to me. They're going, blah, blah, right? You see that. David is going, you, Lord, are my rest, but I'm not resting right now. <laughs> 